J'en profite, je me tourne une dernière fois. Ok, so. Let me turn to the audience, to you. Um, after thanking Julian Amory, do you have any questions? To any of the speakers we've had this evening, any questions? Bon, eh bien, euh, eh bien, très bien. OK. Well, no questions. Um, I would like to thank you, then, first of all. Thank you for being here. I would like to thank Philip, specifically. Thank you for taking the time to give your presentation and for uh, the roundtable. Marianne, thank you for attending. Cyril. Merci à Étienne également d'avoir participé à la table ronde et à Scott, Scott who was uh, with us uh, uh, through video conference uh, from the U.S. Thank you, Alexi, for the FSDL demo, the live demo. Um, thanks for creating this uh, Frogan's site from scratch. Great result. You know what? Let me show it again. La pastille. Ah, Est-ce que vous pouvez voir la pastille? Ok, we would like to see the little so-called pastille, the dot, one more time. Ah, le nénuphar, voilà. la pastille. Tana, et voilà, un dernier petit coucou. There it is. There it is. Let's see. Did I forget anyone? I, I don't think I left anyone out. I would like to thank all the organizers. Thank you to the interpreters. Thank you for translating uh, into French and English. Uh, hello. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. We would like to thank our technical staff. Cameraman, thank you for doing the, the work. Thanks for uh, organizing the streaming as well. Using OP3FT's YouTube. Thank you to the technical operators, uh, STG Interactive as well. Thank you guys for your support and thanks for organizing the FTC. Alexander, Faustin, Matthew, Matthew, there are several Matthews. Merci aux personnes qui ont fait l'éclairage. And uh, thank you also for the venue. This is a beautiful room. Notice the lights. It's a, it's a beautiful classroom because it is a classroom. Stefan, he is in the shadow. You can't see him. He is in his little, little fortress back there, hiding. He is the one who's been managing uh, the screen. Et nous a permis d'alterner entre les sites Frogan. So the toggling between the the Frogan site, the PowerPoints, and all the other visuals. That was him. I would like to thank you for um, creating some content. Thank you, Cyril, for uh, Jude as well. Aurélien, thanks for the site. Who else was there? Merci à Esther. Esther, of course. Esther had a big one. Um, thank you for your great comments. Thank you for your uh, wonderful feedback. I know that some of you have been uh, showing interest for a long time. The technical team, Damien, Véronique, Matthew, uh, Michelle, Nancy, Weil, uh, I would like to thank uh, the specifications team, Benjamin, namely, our legal team, of course, Julie, Thomas, Gwendal uh, and Victor on the promotional team. Thank you so much um, for uh, your hard work in terms of promotion and communication. I know you've been working hard on social media, schools, and so on. And all the other OP3FT people I have not mentioned, probably because I can't see you from here. Um, and uh, thank you to our sound engineers. And thank you, says the public. 
Thank you for hosting the show. I thank you indeed. It's always a pleasure. I uh, was going to uh, make a small conclusion, so but there was too much, too much emotion, but let me do it anyway. I was thinking about how you take ownership of a technology like fragrance and what this really means, taking ownership of a technology, of a new technology. We could have spent talking about this with Alexi and Emery and the, 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 the fragrance technology creators earlier. Um, Et comment euh, comment cette nouvelle technologie arrive euh, sur Internet, Internet? And how this new technology is uh, now coming on, uh, online on the web? Um, Internet uh, started to develop back in the 60s, became extremely popular in the 90s, um, and is still changing and growing as we're, we're speaking. Um, Frogans being one of the contributors. And I was thinking back about uh, when I was in school, and it was this Latin concept called Klinemen. I don't know if you're familiar with Klinemen. Klinemen translates by deviation. Um, it's coming from a Roman, a Roman thinker called Luc Lucretius. Um, these thinkers were materialists. They saw the world as matter, as atoms. And for them, the world was a series of atoms that were falling, free falling. And through empirical observation, they observed a clinamen, and uh, that is a small deviation in atoms. Now, I'm going to read this. Um, so if, if in the clinamen, atoms don't cause anything, Que les causes ne se succèdent à l'infini. D'où viendrait donc cette liberté? Where does this freedom uh, given to um, living beings on this planet come from? It reminded me of in, uh, of, of internet. It's it's an uninterrupted fall, a free fall. Remember the fish Philip showed earlier. At one point, if you don't get that slight deviation, that clinamen, that changes things. Again, it's only a slight deviation. We're not reinventing the world. We're not reinventing the web. But if you if you don't have that small deviation, well, then you have the same solutions, the same technologies, the same codes, the same IT, and nothing changes. And with a small deviation, all of a sudden, you have all kinds of new opportunities that happen that pop up. So that small deviation also comes with constraints. Frogant sites come in a, in a unique format. It's a different format. It has its limits. It has its own constraints. Baudelaire. I'd like to quote Baudelaire, French poet Baudelaire. The shape in itself can be a constraint, but when ideas are generated, they, they are stronger. With new formats, with a new player, with new ways of creating content, we're making people more creative. We achieve greater creativity, and this is wonderful. Uh, we saw uh, kitties, bears. And who knows, in the future, it could very well be the killer app. Okay, that was it. It's a little improvised, but this is my way of concluding. Thank you very much.